welcome back to my channel let me take you onto the iPad and we can have a little look at how I actually sketch up a design the first thing I've done is I pull up my template and I do this whenever I'm sketching and designing and that is because I find it's so much easier to design to a template that I have drawn and I use this to basically be able to focus on the designs themselves instead of focusing on the model and making sure the model's looking beautiful and perfect. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to zoom in on the bodice and we're going to do a bit of a neckline. So one of the gowns I've got coming up has a low V halter neckline. So we're going to just do a line here. Oh, God, one pet hate about this. When you touch it with your hand, it deletes. Oops. And then when you do a mistake, you can just undo that step. So there's a V neckline. And then I want to basically see what type of skirt I want to do with this neckline. Um, now, what I want to do is create another layer because I'm not sure if I'm going to do an A-line or if I'm going to do a mermaid style or a sheath. So I'm going to take, do the sheath here. Okay, so that's a sheath style. And then what I can do is do another layer, take off the sheath and then go, okay, I'm going to see if I want to do um, a a line instead and then maybe this one has some gathering on the waist as well and then I'm gonna go back to the bodice because I find that I'm gonna do some lace inserts here so this is all gonna be mesh I'm just, you know, doing a very artistic version, um, so not realistic. I just do little swirls to um, show that there's lace pieces here on the bodice. Like that. And then this sort of bleeds up to nothing, so this is all mesh. And there'll also be mesh on the sides. Now what I do want to do is add, I'm going to do this on another layer in case I don't like it, but I also want to add some feathers and I'm going to take the opacity right down because I want the feathers to look quite light. And I'm going to take them all around here and around the neck. And this is something quite prominent in the next collection. Um, I'm using a lot of feathers and a lot of really beautiful beaded laces. So it's gonna be a very sparkly collection with hints of tribal elements. And obviously with the iPad, the harder you press, um, the more full on it is. Okay, so now looking at that, I am not really liking that silhouette of the A-line skirt, so I am going to take that off and put that there instead. And I think that's a much nicer uh, connection with the top. And I can actually put some feathers maybe in the bottom here to connect the two. So that's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to do that on another layer again in case I don't like it. I've already got the feathers on my pencil, so I'm going to do these first. And I'm just thinking, you know, quite heavy with the feathers, especially down the bottom in the hem. And I'm just drawing little lines um, that lightly kind of fall to indicate the ostrich feathers that I'm going to use for this. Okay. That's cute. Now, 
I'm going to now add some lace to the skirt and again I'm going to use a different layer because I just am not sure if it's going to work so that's why I don't like combining the layers it's much harder to erase I've taken the opacity right up again because I want the lace to look similar to this lace here so I'm going to just draw some lace and I want to draw it in a bit of a V front I think like this and I'm going to draw some on the sides and then we might just take some of this lace down bodice like this What I want to do is put a layer of lace here in the actual body. So again, I'm going to take the opacity down for this because I want this to be quite light. That's quite cute. Now all here on this bodice is going to be mesh, okay, which I'll have to indicate. And there'll also be a mesh panel in the center here, and that's just for security. So one level of mesh that we will have to do. Um, and now I'm, I'm going to do the back. If we look at the front, it's a halter. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure that the connections are right. How many times do I actually get clients giving me photos of gowns, fronts and backs that they want and they don't connect on the shoulder? Um, real problem because, you know, that means you've got to figure out um, how to make it connect. Now, I don't know why, but my color went to white instead of to black. I'm just going to put a waist seam here. Um, we also need a halter like so. And then this I'm going to do, let me go the other way, the best part of, oh, and that's wonky too. So this is the best part of the iPad, is that um, it's, you know, so easy to make an amendment or a change, which is great. Okay, so we're putting some lace here. And then we can't forget the feathers are going to be all over here, all over the back. I'm going to go all over the back. It's going to be quite full. Okay. You've got to try and do the same shape as the front or else it is going to be very confusing for the factory because they will be like, wait, uh, the front looks like this, the back looks like that, we don't understand what's going on. Um, and then it's just confusing and it, you know, it's a time waster, you've got to go backwards and forwards all the time. Right, now, so I've closely kind of matched the silhouette. What I'm also gonna do is add a line here, and this is basically for the fabric. Now, what I need to do is just move the zipper because it's not quite straight. So the zipper's there, then the center seam is there, and then we've got this tail, and it's usually done like this. Okay, so now that that's done, let's now add all the other elements and the layers. Okay guys, well, I really hope you enjoyed that really quick video on how I do a sketch. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, more sketching videos, or if you want to know something in particular about my sketching, please let me know in the comments. Um, I would love to do some more videos for you guys if that's what you want to see. 
hit the like button so that I know that you like this video and I hope to see you next time with the next sketch that I have for the collection.